QDM web operates as a push system, meaning users don't have to constantly go on the system to see is my part running good or if there's a problem with my part, they don't have to log into the system to look at the report. They could set alerts within the system for the part numbers that they are monitoring and the system will constantly keep a watch for those data coming in, run statistics in the back end. And if there is any type of alert that need to be alerted to all the stakeholders who are subscribing, subscribing to that part number, they would get the uh, alert uh, uh, via email and text that they could immediately review. So uh, from a watch list perspective, you could set up your add any part number or any number of part numbers that you're watching. Um, uh, to your favorites and set up email alerts, switch on the email alerts. You could set up alert triggers uh, for any statistics, red, yellow, or green zone for any one of the statistical metrics, CPC, PK, P process parameters, uh, or uh, inspect range, mean shifts, or any type of uh, data that you're looking for, any type of metric that you're looking for. You could set up your red, yellow, green zones and set your alert on what percentage of red, yellow, green zones that you need to be alerted on. Um, you could, and the system automatically publish data as new data is measured and uploaded from anywhere. It could be from any, any, uh, any of your plans or any of your suppliers. The system constantly monitors for that. And as soon as data comes in, it runs an auto publish report for that particular data in the background and uh, generates these alerts if there is any alert criteria that's been triggered. Um, it sends the alert, uh, alert as an email and also a text, but it's uh, uh, with a list of all the failed features, so it's very informative and also has a graphical link to the to the web page to click on to look at the report in a graphical format so that they could analyze the, the CAD-based SPC report also from their phone or from their uh, desktop PC. Um, and also allows you to do a direct review uh, for timely corrective action. So the, the time between uh, an issue that's reported from the plan and you being notified and taking corrective action is significantly reduced. And this is, uh, this is a very, um, uh, very integral part of QDM web. Uh, from from uh, from a push based alert system. So let's uh, let's go in and look at this a uh, little bit. Um, let me go back to the software here and leave uh, this. Um, so we will uh, in this one. I'm going to navigate to uh, one of my parts under ABC Auto for a product type. Um, maybe we'll do the stamping. Um, uh for the maybe supplier a maybe a part coming from supplier a uh for a program z1 um okay oh it's just taking some time i'll just pick directly from here as a shortcut link supplier z1 Okay. Just give me one second. I'm trying to find the ABC auto stamping supply. Yeah, there you go. Hood. Uh, we'll do the we'll do the hood inner uh, part. So when we navigate to that part, I can also set that up as a favorite. So once I set this up as a favorite, um, now I have the who dinner program. I could uh, switch my email alerts as uh, I switch my email alerts to say I want to get email alert for this who dinner program. Um, let me go back to my navigation screen, go back to my favorites, and select my who dinner program. Um, so this is kind of how I would set up that I want to put this on my watch list. So what I did here is I put this particular code inner program on my watch list. Now, from an auto published perspective, um, we could look at uh, maybe I'll I'll use uh, you'll use a shortcut to get there. Who um, dinner program? I want to look at um, look at the settings. Look at my auto publish for that particular hood in the program. Um, 
I could set up my email alerts based on any statistics, CPCPK, uh, PPPPK range or anything. In this particular case, I'll use spec limit. And I want to get an email alert if even one feature fails in this because this is a very critical feature. And I'd like to be notified if I uh, get any one of these conditions of show red, yellow, or green. Um, so that's something that I could set up. And uh, from that point onwards, as soon as um, as soon as the part is triggered, uh, we the system sends an email alert saying that this is the who dinner AP program from ABC stamping supplier uh, A2 for the A for the Z2 program. Uh, between these two dates, 52 measurements were generated with the spec target percentage above that value, and it gives me a list of all the features and also provides me a link to navigate to the report um, that I could quickly go in and it takes me to the page, uh, logs me in and takes me to the page where I could review that auto-published report for that uh, for that uh, hood inner um, in a graphical SPC format, uh, whether I'm on my PC or I'm on my phone, um, on, a, on any smartphone. Um, so it gives you anywhere access to address your alerts and uh, review your data and uh, provide corresponding feed, um, timely feedback to monitor your data. So with that, uh, let's go back to what we looked at. We set up a watch list. Um, we set up a trigger with a spec limit for the last, uh, for the email with a percentage of 100% um, uh, as a limit. So meaning any failures need to be notified. The system, runs this auto publish as soon as the data comes in. So this is mechanism that happens in the back end. It takes the last 10 samples. It runs that on a selected SPC temple, template on event for every new sample and generates an email and text alert to all the users monitoring this part. Um, so this happens in the back end automatically. And uh, we uh, the user gets an email alert. Um, and they could also click on a link and view the view the graphical report and the SPC report that corresponds to that particular uh, failure mode that was uh, that was detected. Um, so again, the key benefits is a is a web-based push alert system. Each user can have their own profile, their own set of parts that they're man monitoring. It's fully configurable. Um, we looked at setting up a watch list, setting up a trigger, automatically publishing this data. Uh, reviewing the email alert and providing a direct review from any um, device.